In a paper we published last year, we conducted a beta-grain characterization and texture analysis of large-scale 3D printed TIE 64, deposited using the X-Beam 3D metal printing process. A common problem in large-scale 3D printed titanium components is the coarse columnar beta phase grains that form during deposition, which can grow to centimetres in size, producing a heterogeneous microstructure. This leads to mechanical anisotropy and unpredictable damage tolerance. Since the target industry for these materials is aerospace, these detrimental properties are a key issue. X-Beam is a direct energy deposition additive manufacturing process that uses a hollow conical electron beam to melt wire that is fed coaxially through the conical beam. This unique process creates favourable deposition conditions to promote refinement of the large beta grains in TIE 64 and is known to produce Equiax grains instead in X-Beam components. However, these Equiax beta grains have only been studied optically and a texture analysis has never been conducted. In this paper, we used electron bat scatter diffraction, or EBSD, and a beta reconstruction technique to characterize the beta grain structure and texture in TIE 64 X beam components. Three components were analyzed in this work using three different deposition strategies two using multi wire deposition, and one using single track deposition. One multi-track component was built by depositing the wire tracks parallel to each other and the second was built rotating the wire deposition direction 90 degrees after each layer was completed, named lattice strategy here. Here are the TIE 64 electron bat scatter diffraction orientation maps we collected showing the beta grain distribution after reconstruction from the alpha phase in the three components. The two multi-track components are not completely refined. They have bimodal beta grain structures consisting of areas of refined equiaxed grains and regions of partially columnar grains. In the component where the wire track deposition direction was rotated 90 degrees every layer, the columnar sections appear larger. However, when we looked in the plane perpendicular to the maps shown here, we found near fully equiax structures and little evidence of columnar growth. We discovered that this was a sectioning effect and the beta grain structure is actually heterogeneous in three dimensions. After investigation, we found that the beta grains nucleated at the bottom of each melt track, where equiax grains formed near the fusion boundary and columnar grains were found above. This produced equiax grain filaments throughout the materials, as shown in this diagram for each multi-track deposition strategy. On top of the heterogeneous nature of the beta grain structure, one's view of the structure can be biased by taking particular cross sections, as shown on the right here. However, overall, the beta grain structure was refined enough in the X-Beam TIE 64 material to produce a weak texture, and much more isotropic mechanical properties would be expected compared to a fully columnar beta grain structure. Finally, since the Equiax beta grains were much smaller than is required for aerospace spec, we trialled a beta annealing heat treatment, that is, heating the material above the beta transis to the full beta phase, and then cooling the samples in a controlled manner. This allows us to wipe the microstructure clean of alpha phase heterogeneities, such as heat affected zone bands, and allowed us to tailor the alpha microstructure to a form of our choosing. Since many conventionally produced wrought TIE 64 products have coarse single variant alpha lamella colony structures, which have high damage tolerance in aerospace applications, we cooled the beta annealed X-Beam 3D printed samples slowly down through the beta transus to replicate such a microstructure. The top EBSD maps show the reconstructed beta and alpha phases in the as deposited X-Beam TIE 64 material. Below shows that after the beta annealing heat treatment, the samples had better grain sizes still within the necessary specifications, a near identical microstructure to conventional wrought lamella alpha microstructures, and actually had a weaker texture than common wrought products. This demonstrates the ability of X-Beam TIE 64 components to directly replace the wrought material in many current aerospace applications.
This paper was published in the journal Materialia and a link can be found in the video description below.